Well, I just took delivery of a pallet of mating nukes. So here we go. See where we go with this queen rearing thing. <clears throat> so Kent with an idea. And here it is. And I built it. That's what I do. I come up with ideas that cost me money and time. So I built a long Langstroth hive. Um, they're not conducive to having lots of hives. They're a great backyard beekeeper hive. Um, there's people that don't think they put honey up as well. But those people think that they put more brood up. Well, that's what I'm doing is making bees. So that doesn't hurt. But I, I had a real success on that last graft that I did. Um, and I believe a lot of it was due to having all of the right age larva. Um, I can't see the darn things in there. So I, I don't know what I'm getting all the time. And I think that's what happens with a lot of my stuff. So I... I designed this and I, I had some other input I watched a video where somebody had done this in a regular box but I wanted more bees in it than a regular box and I didn't want to stack them or I have to take them apart so I've got room for two frames uh, two slots for entrances in this end two frames and then a spot for six frames between two queen excluders so my idea is that the queen is, is trapped in this area and I rotate comb through for her so I know exactly the age of the oldest egg on the, the frame or the oldest it could be because she couldn't have laid on there before I put it in there. So then I've got room for another 20 or so frames going this direction on past it so here's the rest of your support i've drilled holes in two so that i can control some of the ventilation uh, coming through there are also two slots for entry at this end so these bees trying to put in uh, honey uh, pollen and, and nectar can can access from that end and not have to go through two queen excluders which i'm certain would be a pain and the other thing with this is if i'm in it on a regular basis if i'm trying to transfer new frames for her on a regular basis so i know the age of my eggs and i'm rotating some of those out i'm in the box you know every day or every other day and they don't like that especially if i want to do a, a, a double deep to have more bees to support now I'm, I'm tearing it apart. With this, I only have to take apart the part I need to get into. So if I need to get in here where the queen's at, I've got two boards I can pick up and access those frames. If I want to add a frame to this side and I know that I've got some space down here, all I have to do is open it up, up enough to pry it down and drop the other frame in. Or come to the other end pop the board up where I know the, the, the frames have ended and drop my frame in. A lot less disruption into a hive that I need to be into a lot. <clears throat> my, my first plan and thoughts had been to build this where the other end of it was my cell starter, my cell builder. So I would have a double screen board between them and then one side's queenless and that's where my grass would go. Um, at that point, if the weather wasn't bad and I was fast enough, I could pull a frame out, graft on my grafting bars right here, and stick them right in my starter, all right here in one place. Then I could also take that out of the starter and put it back in here as a finisher. So if you put the... the cell starter gets them drawn out and starts feeding royal jelly and then if you put them back in a queen right hive as a starter they have a lot more resources and they can will feed those and finish those uh, finish drawing them out where they may not have drawn them out at all because they have a queen if you would put them in in with them to start so that is another option and i may build a, just a whole another one for my for my uh, cell starter 
anyway i'm going to try to get this up into the orchard where the bees are at and maybe get some bees into it i'll video that too so if you like this video hit the like button thanks